While this seems effective, the Commissioner of Police in Lagos, Imoimi Edgar, is quick to give credit to the adoption of community policing and safety partnership as a strategy in dealing with the situation since his deployment to Lagos in September 2017. Uh, I came on board with a clear policing plan, uh, a plan powered by the philosophy, the strategy of community policing and community safety partnership. And um, from then onwards, uh, I ensured that uh, I attended, initiated and attended over 13 town hall meetings across the states to, to sell that policing plan, to sell my concept of policing, my strategy of policing to the people. Unfortunately, the people have understood and are now partnering with us. If there is reduction in crime, it is because the people are now partnering with the police. You know, partnership is a very key element in community policing and safety partnership. Uh, before now, that partnership was very low. And the reason was simple. We, over, over the years, the police, for whatever reason, had lost the trust and confidence of the people. And um, for community policing to take root, there was need for us to win back the trust and confidence of the people, which was what I set out to do. And one thing that I, one platform that I gave the people uh, that greatly assisted in this effort was the Citizens Complaint Hot Center, which I set up at Alausa at the intelligence lab. At Alausa, uh, at the intelligence lab, we have the Citizens Complaint Hot Center now with 10 dedicated lines. It's manned 24-7, and um, you can call in in Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, or English to report police misconduct, to report police inaction, to report police unprofessionalism. And people have been calling in we have been taking action against our policemen. We have been responding to their complaints. And by so doing, we have noticed that there's now more acceptance of police activity. And how am I measuring this? It's because of the inflow of information. All the achievements we have recorded so far in the fight against Bado in Ikurudu, the destruction of shrines, arrest of uh, uh, principal Bado suspects, uh, arrest of cultists here and there, uh, arrest of drug uh, peddlers, recovery of uh, bags of Indian hemp, cocaine, uh, arrest of hoodlums, kidnappers, and robbers across the state is based on credible information from members of the public, which was not coming before. So um, I intend to deepen community policing, I intend to deepen community safety partnership because it is working in the state. The partner of the community police approach seemed to have caught up with the idea and I agree that it is a working strategy that could be adopted in other parts of the country. The collaboration is in so many forms. We relate often, we call stakeholder meetings, the community, the CDs and uh, the market men and women, the road transport workers, the different groups, the Okada, the ordinary citizen of the community. We call stakeholders here. The security agencies are invited. The vigilante groups are equally invited. All of us will, will, will sit down together and they will talk about various observations of different groups and uh, it is noted the one that we believe the law enforcement agents must work on so that we can all have peaceful coexistence we we'll relate it to them and they work on it and if there's any solution uh, any any problem they still come back to us and we'll find a way of you know finding solution to whatever we we observe is the problem and uh, it is not only at their level the officers, the senior officers at the level to the commissioner of police, we have had a very, very good relationship. And, uh, and I think uh, that is what I can say is the outcome of the approach of the present commissioner of police in Lagos State, who, since he came in into office, 
has been emphasizing one thing, community policing. And he's not disturbed by his, sitting in his office. You will always see him on the move. So when I see people like that, so you, criminal will find it difficult to find a, 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 a solace anywhere. So it, it has been a, a collaborative work yielding positive results. The work of Squadron 63 in Igogo is obviously appreciated, but analysts say for a lasting peace in Ikorodu and Lagos, other factors should be considered. Setting up that unit in, in Ikorodu is not the only thing that should be done. You understand? That is on the side of the government showing, you know, we are capable of policing this area. But at the same time, the government should also endeavor to dissuade the young men from joining these cults. Why are they joining? For most of them, there's nothing else to do. This is the only way that they can get food on the table, money in their pockets. The government should try and give them another, um, another way, job creation. Let them make it easier for them to start a business, make it easy for them to be able to put two and two together and run their own small business so that they can put food on the table and they don't have to veer into crime. Most of these boys that are joining, especially these battle calls, are very young boys.